So this one says the probability density of a random variable x is given in the figure below. From this density, the probability that x is at least 1.86 is... Now, they're asking for the probability. That means a couple of things that you can know and will help lead you to making sure you get an answer that makes sense. The probabilities are going to be between 0 and 1 unless they're represented as percentages. And if it is supposed to be represented as a percentage, it will say so, or there will be a percent sign next to the answer box. But typically, probabilities are understood to be decimal form between 0 and 1, or they could be fractions that would simplify to a decimal between 0 and 1. So we know we're looking for an answer that's somewhere between 0 and 1. Second thing we know about answers that are probabilities when it comes to continuous random variables like we have here is that when you're looking for probability, it's the same thing as looking for an area. Now, because this random variable is uniformly distributed, it has a rectangular shape. It has a straight density function up across the top. And when you enclose that with the horizontal axis, it creates a rectangle. So to find probabilities for uniformly distributed random variables, we use the area formula for a rectangle, which is length times width or base times height. In your reference packet, you will find a page on uniform distributions and different scenarios of how you might be looking for an answer from one of these types of questions. And you'll notice that on all of these, there's a range, which is the maximum minus the minimum, that would be the distance across the bottom of your rectangle, and then one over the range, the reciprocal of the range, would be your probability function, and that is that should make sense to you because the overall area of the entire larger rectangle for the full distribution, the area has to be 1. Why? Because it represents all of the probabilities. And all of the probabilities have to add up to 1. So it makes sense that once you know the range, you also know the probability function's height. And that's probably the trickiest part to these questions, is just knowing how to set up your uniform distribution. So while they've given us an image here, they did not tell us the height of the density function. And we do need that in order to find an answer that will be a probability, an area of part of this rectangle. So we know it should be, I'm going to snip this so we can write on it, and I'll pause while it. Okay, so it says we want the probability that x is at least 1.86. So we are going to put 1.86 on the map right about here. And draw a vertical line up to the top of the function. And then we need to shade on one of the sides of this line. It says that x is at least 1.86. So the very least it can be is 1.86. So that means it can be greater than or equal to 1.86. So that means we need to shade the region representing values that are 1.86 and greater. So we have this little sliver of the larger rectangle that we need to find the area for. And we do need the height of the rectangle. We know the width right here will be 2 minus 1.86, so 0 0.14. Um, but we need to know this distance right here, and that is the height of the density function. So once we can figure out what that is, we're ready to finish this problem. Now, because the range is from 0 to 2, that's a range of 2 units, then the height, the probability of x that is uniform, is 1 half, or 0.5. So now, to find the probability that x is at least greater than or equal to 1.86 will be found by multiplying the base of 1.14 times the height of 0.5. And so we should get the answer 0 0.07.